कृष्ण शाखा फादर मदर आर हिज मोस्ट पिलेब एट गोपीज दैट विथ कृष्ण वी शुड मेडिटेट शखाज और मा जसोदा नंद बाबा और लाइक गोपीज एंड बाई फॉलोइंग देयर मोड्स कम्स इन द डिवोटी साधक हार्ट दिस इज शुद्ध सत्व ये शुद्ध सत्व कम वेरी सोन प्रेम कम वट इज प्रेम इफ एज एनी ओकेजन कम्स दैट प्रेम शुड बी डिस्ट्रॉयड इवन प्रेम गोज हैर एंड है स्नेह मान प्रणय राग अनुराग भाव महाभाव एंड आफ्टर दैट रूढ़ अधिरूढ़ देन मोहन एंड आफ्टर दैट मॉर्दन वनली इन राधिका सो दिस इज द हाइएस्ट स्टेज ऑफ भक्ति मादन एंड फिच इज इन राधिका सो भक्ति इन इन हाइएस्ट स्टेज द मूड ऑफ राधिका द सर्विंग मूड ऑफ राधिका इज मदन खबाओ दैट इज हाइएस्ट स्टेज ऑफ भक्ति उत्तमा भक्ति एंड फर्स्ट इज इज श्रद्धा दीज ऑल थिंग्स then uh, i want to tell you the gradation of uttama bhakti by examples silasnatan goswami has divided uttama bhakti those who have uttama bhakti that cut out again फर्स्ट ज्ञानी भक्त देन शुद्ध भक्त देन प्रेमी भक्त प्रेम पार भक्त प्रेमातुर भक्त लाइक प्रहलाद महाराज इन दी फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ संत कुमार फोर कुमार एंड फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ सुखदेव गोस्वामी दिस स्टेज दे आर उत्तम प्रहलाद महाराज यू यू उत्तम टू काइंड ऑफ ज्ञान वन निर्विशेष बाधित द डोंट स्वीकार करना एडमिट एडमिट द रूप ऑफ कृष्ण एनी क्वालिटी नथिंग लाइक जीरो एंड अहम ब्रह्मास्मि आई एम ब्रह्म दिस वर्ल्ड इज फॉल्स जीव ऑल्सो वी आर ब्रह्म एवरीथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड इज ब्रह्म दिस दिज आर ज्ञान दिस इज अगेंस्ट भक्ति बट दो जो आर ज्ञानी भक्त that everywhere they are seeing their worshipable deity everywhere pranav maharaj everywhere he sees in krishna all living entity and in living entity he sees o oh krishna these are mahabhagavat what is the defect there in fact they are they cannot serve krishna with all tan body mind soul by moods why not pralad maharaj cannot because he know that his prabhu is very powerful as swarjamay having so much appulence he has no appetite he has no thirst he never become tired so no need of seva but ho oh, prabhu you should be merciful to me from then shuddha bhakta ambarish maharaj his pure bhakta by his all senses he used to serve 
एंड ही बट प्योर शुद्ध भक्त देन हनुमान इज प्रेमी भक्त मोर देन ऑलवेज सर्विंग राम इन हिज लीला बाई माइंड सोल एवरीथिंग हिज प्रेमी भक्त बट ही कैन एंड एम्ब्रेस राम he cannot take any anything from sin this he cannot sleep with ram chandra when ram is on front he will sit side but pandava oh so much more more and more krishna has married his daughter uh, his sister sister, sister subhadra to him hmm. and he became charioteer of arjun and he was following the order of arjun like a servant he became messenger of pandavas and went to durjodhan even in battle when the horses of the chariot of arjun tired or tired then he come down and he used to massage massage them what to arjun <laughs> they used to take prasadam from one this sleeping on the same bed hmm? but sometimes when kis showed him in universal form form then he feared oh what i have done i have told him sakha oh, oh i have done up offense in the lord's feet of krishna he is creator of whole world he is prabhu of whole world i have told him to oh my let take take my chariot in the middle of the so many things oh prabhu you should so aswarji buddhi came but uddhav more and more from uddhav uddhav has prayed the fit dust of gopis so gopis are more superior than even uddhav brajbasi are more superior than uddhav first dasya from dasya to sakhar mor superior sidam subal they can fight with krishna they can oh when he is stepping they will go oh can i out 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 get up get up let up and mother jashoda and nand baba mor in nand baba jashoda jashoda has mor affection and mamata minus to krishna so she is superior and from jashoda all the gopis are superior in all gopis chandravali and radhika are superior and in the them or oh, superior malli shrimati radhika so in this category shrimati radhika is hmm? superman but superior than all krishna most beloved gopis because she has madana khabhav to krishna kirtan 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 now we have discussed about ras ras panchadhyay after that jugal geet came and after jugal geet krishna killed shankhachur sudarshan a python and after that he killed keshi bhomasu arishtasur and so who will tell sudarshan 
You remember Sudarshan? Understand, Thakur Bhakti Vinod describes in his literatures that each of the demons killed by Krishna represent one fault or one obstacle. Therefore, by hearing these pastimes, that fault which is present in us will become obliterated and the path towards pure devotion will become clear. Therefore, one of the major, actually the biggest obstacle towards devotion is the disease or the fault of Mayavad. Mayavad means that people who do not accept the difference between the individual soul and the Supreme Soul. They think Sarvakalvidam Brahma. We are all the Supreme Lord. We are all one with God. But this conclusion is completely against devotion. Because if you merge with God, is there anybody left to serve Him? If you become God, can you taste Him? If your tongue is made of sugar, can you taste sugar? It's quite impossible. Therefore, I'll tell one little story. When Guruji was in Himalaya many years before with his spiritual master, Nichilila Parishila Bhakti Pragyan Kesav Maharaj. That time Guru was reading one book by Sanatan, Sri Sanatan Goswami called Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. That time there was one Mayavadi, means the followers of Sankracharya. You can know them very clearly because they have three lines of tilak across here. He came and asked Gurudev, why you're reading that book? You should be reading the commentary of Vedanta by Sri Sankracharya. And Gurudev answered, Because I prefer to read the books of Sanatana Goswami because he is higher. That man said, That is crazy how you can say that. Sankracharya is the direct incarnation of Mahadev. And Gurudev said, I know that, but Sanatana Goswami is direct representation of Srimadhi Radhika's own servant. Therefore, he is higher than some argument can. So Param Gurudev, our Guruji's Guru, was inside Hello. hearing, then he came out. Then there was, Param Gurudev challenged him and said, I say you're becoming one with the Supreme Lord is the same as becoming one with stool. <laughs> and that man was horrified. How you can say such a thing? Yes, because if you become one with stool, you become stool. No one to smell the bad smell. If you become one with Krishna, no one to taste the beauty of Krishna. Therefore, it's the same thing. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Karavadi Mukta Bancha Koyta Pradhyan Dahad Hoyte Krishna Bhakti Hoyle Antadhyan. Where there is even a fragrance of the smell of the desire to become one with God, then devotional service, the desire to serve Krishna, completely disappears. Therefore, this demon of the desire to become one with God is represented by the python called Sudarshan. One time in 10th Kanto describes that Krishna, his mother and father, all his friends, all the Brijabhasis were in the forest performing kirtan. So the question comes, what were they doing in the forest in the middle of the night? Therefore that must have been Ikarasi day. Especially in Vrindavan, many people say... Shiv Chatur Dasi. They have gone to Ambika Ban in nearer to Mathura. There. And they were fasting and doing kirtan, keeping Rapti Jagaran Kachi. So many people think anyway that 
because especially in Vrindavan in India, people think, oh, we are Vrindavasis, we don't need to follow any type of rules or regulations, we don't need to follow a courtesy or Shivaratri or nothing because we are Vrindavasi. But this is not true because Vrindavasi also follow um, vows like courtesy and the appearance day of Lord Shiva. Therefore, Lord Shiva, he is the greatest devotee. Without his mercy, it's quite impossible to achieve devotion to Sri Krishna. Just like Ganga is the greatest river, the Srimad Bhagavatam is the greatest of the Puranas. In the same way, Vaishnava and Amritasambhu, Lord Shiva or Mahadeva is the greatest of the devotees. Therefore, without his mercy, Krishna Bhakti is quite imagined, it's impossible to achieve. Therefore, all the bridge Vasis in the middle of the night, that was the night of Shiva Kadasi, uh, Shiva Chaturdasi, they were fasting for the grace of Lord Shiva. So that time, one demon, one snake, in the form of a python, he came and grabbed Krishna's father, Nandabhava, and began to swallow him whole. He thought, everyone else is fasting, but why should I fast? Then he began to chew Nandabhava and swallow him. That time, all began, they began beating that snake with torches and sticks and stones, but that snake would not release Nandabhava. Because those who do not believe in the personality of Godhead or the form of Krishna, then neither they believe in the eternal personality of the associates of Krishna, because they think that Jiva has become destroyed by merging with God. Therefore, this demon means Krishna should have no form, no associates, no pastimes, especially no mother and father. Therefore, he began to swallow Nandababa. That time everyone began beating that snake, but he would not release Nandababa until Krishna came himself and touched that snake on the head with his own lotus feet. So that desire to become one with the Supreme Lord can be destroyed only by the special grace of Krishna and his devotees. For example, Janak Maharaj. Janak Maharaj, he was playing the pastime of an Advaita body, actually of a Brahma body. Brahma body has two main gurus. One is Janak Maharaj, the other one is Astavakra. Therefore, when Sita and Ra when Ram and Lakshman came after taking weapons training from Vishwamitra Rishi, they came back to Janakmuri. That time, Janak Maharaj asked, Hey, who are those two boys? They are very attractive. They have attracted my mind from the happiness of meditating on the impersonal Bharam. Etu Balak Ati Anuragi Barosamam Brahma Sukhatyagi. Those two boys, their beauty has attracted my mind from impersonal liberation. Therefore, the desire to become a devotee can appear in the heart of a Advaita body only by the special grace of Krishna and his devotees. So Krishna kicked that serpent in the head, means he got some pure intelligence by the grace of the good dust of Krishna. Then he spat, when he released Nanda Baba, and he took his original form as a Divyadara. His name was? Sudarshan Divyadara. He had been cursed to become a python for some offense. That offense does skip on my mind. I cannot remember. So, he was very beautiful in previous life. And he, any Rishi, he was laughing, joking. Asta. How beautiful, how beautiful. Asta Bhakti. And then he cursed. Oh, you should be Python. Because Python is very beautiful outside, but inside he's full of poison. No, oh, no, outside, every side. You <laughs> <laughs> should not make offense to any sunny persons by laughing at them. That is the point. <laughs> so there was one devotee, there was one Brahmavadi called Astavakra. He was in the womb of his mother, his father was chanting Vedic mantras. And in the womb he said, Father, you are not chanting properly. And Father became angry, you're correcting me. And I curse should become bent in eight places. Never he used to walk a little funny. So uh, Vidyadara, he laughed. Oh, you walk very nicely, Maharaj, you're very attractive. And he cursed him, you can become a snake. And he fell at the feet of Astavaka and begged, how I can be forgiven for this offense? How can I be free from the snake form? You can be freed only by the grace of Krishna himself. Therefore, another point is sometimes saintly personalities become angry, but that does not mean they do not have affection for us. Their anger is another form of their blessings. Otherwise, how an ordinary demigod like Vididara can get the feet dust of Krishna, get the feet of Nanda Baba in his stomach, you know, must be the special grace of Krishna himself. 
Therefore, one more point, when Krishna touched him with his feet, he did not, he became a demigod. Because in his previous life, he had not practiced devotion. Yeah, he got the mercy of Krishna and became a demigod, but that pure devotion he did not achieve. He did not achieve the form of an associate of Krishna. So, by the grace of hearing this pastime, by the grace of Guru Padapadma, and the eternal pastimes of Krishna, Thank this you. fault of my life can be obliterated from my heart. <laughs> brief, in brief. Oh. <laughs> so, after the Shivaratri festival, when they returned back to Vrindavan, then at that time, it was holy. So, it was Purnima night, holy. And Krishna and Balaram, they began to go into the forest to enjoy the Purnima night, just as the night was setting itself. And they were listening to the damsels of Braja. Krishna and Balaram are unlimitedly strong. They had beautiful limbs. They were dressed in spotless clothing. They had beautiful garlands upon them. And they looked so gorgeous. And the gopis, they became so enchanted by looking at Krishna and Balaram, they began singing some beautiful songs. And Krishna and Balaram were seeing the lush grasses of the forest, they were seeing the beautiful trees, and the trees were laden with fruits and flowers, and the flower fragrance of Malika, Chelly, Kameli, Belly, so many beautiful fragrances were being blown through the atmosphere by the breeze. And the bees were humming here and there. And this way, Krishna and Balaram were so enchanted and so excited by the atmosphere, looking at the full moon and all of the stars dancing around the full moon in a great, beautiful scene, they began to sing. And the singing of Krishna and Balaram is not ordinary. Actually, they were able to sing all of the notes that are in the full range at one time. And so in this way they sang so beautifully, they began to enchant everyone. And the gopis who were very beautifully dressed with garlands and flowers in their hair, and very nicely decorated, became stunned and began to faint, hearing the beautiful songs of Krishna and Balaram. And at this their clothes became slackened, their garlands became loose, their braids became loose, the flowers were falling. And just at that point, then Krishna and Balaram began to have very sweet pastime with the damsels of Prabhupada. So at that time, a very intimate servant of Puvera, treasurer of the demigods, came. His name was Sankachuda. He was big and strong, handsome, and very wealthy. But he thought to himself, why Krishna and Balaram, these coward boys, are enjoying these beautiful girls? I should have it. So he had a big stick and he began swinging the stick like this and forcing the cowherd girls that you move, go, go to the north and frightened, even though right in front of, in the immediate vicinity of Krishna and Balaram, swinging his stick like this, the grand damsels of Brother began to run, move to the north in a frightened way. And they began yelling out, Krishna, Rama, Krishna, Rama, Seva. Then Krishna and Rama began running after them like two bull elephants, very strong, picking up big logs and chasing them. So, when Sankachuda looked behind him and he saw, oh, these are not ordinary boys. They are very strong. And they are carrying big logs and running swiftly. They will catch me. So with great anxiety and fear, Sankachuda left the bogies and ran very quickly. So, Krishna at that time, he looked at Balaram. Before catching up to the gopis, he looked at Balaram, glancing at Balaram, indicating you should stay here and protect these gopis. And it also indicated that these were his gopis. These were his particular gopis. And then Balaram told, kill him quickly. And Krishna said, yes, I will kill him now. And although by that time, Shankar had run very swiftly in a far distance, 
He took a few steps, Krishna ran, as if he was nearby, and captured him, and took his fist, and with one fist, struck him on the head, and immediately decapitated his head, and grabbed the shank, the beautiful jewel that looked like a conch shell upon his head. Taking off his head and taking the shank, he came back to see Balaram and the gopis, and not wanting to have any of the gopis become envious that, oh, he has given the jewel to me or this one or that one, so he gave it to Balaram. So Balaram took the jewel, and then later on, secretly, knowing what Krishna wanted in his heart, he gave it to Srimati Radha. <laughs> In the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, great sage Narada Rishi went to Kans and told Kans, do you know that the girl which became in the form of eight-handed Durga Devi. She was not the daughter of Vasudev and Devaki. Really, they were. She was daughter of Jasoda. And Krishna, you know, Krishna is son of Devaki. And Baldev from Rohini, actually they are the sons of oh, um, Devki and Vasudev. And all the Yadubansis, prominent, they are demigods. Anyhow they want to kill you. Be careful. And then Narayana, 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 Jai Jai Narayana, Narayana. <laughs> Singing on Veena, he went on. In the meantime, Oh, Krishna killed Vrishabhasu. <coughs> By killing him, gopis told that we cannot touch you, Krishna. You have committed, committed offense by killing a cow. Then Krishna told that how I will be purified. purified. Then Oh, you should eat bath in whole Tithasthali. Then Tithasthali means pilgrimage holy places like Prayag, Puskar, Puskar, Gangotri, Haridwar, and Asi. others. Then, and at once Krishna <coughs> with his Eddie. Hill, hill, hill. Hill. He created uh, Krishna Kunda, Shyam Kunda, and then Radha. Oh, she made Radha Kunda in this way. And then Keshiva, you know, Keshiva. O my God, 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 my just before the Keshi demon manifested in Vrindavan, Krishna's dear friend, Madhu Mangal, he was saying to Krishna, Oh Krishna, why does everybody worship you? 
Perhaps they worship you just because you have a flute and a peacock feather. So Krishna said, Okay, my dear Saka, why don't you take this peacock feather for a day and my flute for a day and then you can become famous also. So Madhumangal, he thought this was a very good idea. So Madhumangal, he took this peacock feather and Krishna's flute and he was wandering around in brush thinking that, oh, now I am going to become as famous as Krishna. But just at that time, the Keshi demon, this huge horse demon, this mane was reaching the clouds, enormous, very, very powerful demon of Kamsa. He came to Vrindavan seeking Krishna and he'd been told that Krishna, he wears a peacock feather and he has a fruit in his belt. So Madhamangal, wandering around, suddenly the Keshi demon came in view and Madhumangal was terrified. And the Keshi demon, just by the sweeping of his tail, he pushed Madhumangal hundreds of yards back. So at that time, Madhumangal, he ran. And at that time, Krishna, all-knowing, he came to that area where Keshi demon was. At that time, the Keshi demon, he charged straight at Krishna. And Krishna, with his fist, he pushed his fist into the throat of Keshi demon and became like very, very hot, like hot iron. And this took the life of Keshi Demon. And Keshi Demon was finished. So, uh, that time, everyone was glorifying Krishna. And Madhu Mangal again, very humbly, he took the peacock feather and Krishna's flute back to Krishna. And never again did he want to <laughs> imitate the Lord. The Keshi Demon was a very ferocious demon and was annihilated very easily by the Lord. So this is the pastime of Kishidima. After this pastime, Narad singing Krishna glories, he went to Braj and met with Krishna and told, O Prabhu, you are Supreme Lord. You have come to reduce the burden of earth by the prayer of Brahma, Shankar and others and cows. Now I want that I should see, oh, day after tomorrow that you will go to Mathura. You will kill Kubalya Pivya. After that you will kill Charun, Mustik and even Kansa. And then, then you will defeat Yarasandha. Oh, seventeen or sixteen times, seventeen he was killed, seventeen times. And after you will go to Dwarka with whole family there in a night that Puri will be constructed by Vishwa, Karma himself. Very beautiful. And then there you will kill Pandrit, Pandrit Basudev, who was imitating that I am Basudev, Krishna having two folded, uh, two wooden <laughs> arms. <laughs> and told Krishna that you should fight, otherwise give up your form, I am Vasudeva. <laughs> then Krishna took his head by, I will see. After that you will go to, uh, Baldev will marry, then you will marry with Rukmini, Sattvahama and all others. I will see. And after that, in Mahabharat Yuddha, he will go, and you will finish both army, excepting some only. Five Pandavas, you and the other party, Asasthama, Kripacharya, Kritaparma. Only this. Oh, so much burden will be go away. So I want to see. I know that you are now drinking in the ocean of Braj Prem. 
thinking you are not remembering all these things but i came only to remember you remind you and then you lost <laughs> why he did so he went to come and told that be careful from demi gods and oh, this dev uh, krishna and vasudev um, krishna and balaram why he told and again he went to krishna and told him that uh, i want that uh, you should kill kans and others both side kans thinks that krishna um, narad is my guru guru the guru dev and krishna and brajbasi also they think like so oh naris narad is high class of devotee any general person cannot understand his understandings he thought oh kans is giving so much Safari. torturing to torturing vasudev and devaki ugrasen and others all the dynasty of krishna oh are out of mathura and kans is torturing all so i should do something that he very soon he should torture more that krishna will come and finish him. that is very ito now kans was called a meeting charun mosti sol to sol hal sol to sol hal to sol and also jaman kaljavan kaljavan and others perhaps all them and told what nar told and what we should do we we are seeing that so many powerful dams we have sent to kill krishna and baldev in brajav but none has come to tell that what became so we cannot kill him in brajav brajav he must be anyhow called here we make a dhanush yagya dhanush yagya oh, sacrifice that sacrifice to please we will tell that to please rang uh, rangeshwar rangeshwar mahadev and we should call all uh, permanent kings here and there we should call nand baba and krishna and baldev strictly and then here my elephant very eh, kubalya phir will crush krishna and baldev if any how you will be said then what charun musti charun will crush them then he called akur oh my dear friend akur you are my well wisher i know i have trust on you please go and tell bas um, nand baba that he should come with his so many with krishna and baladev no 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 with upaha presentation presentation and give my car tax tax any how we use it then he told he was thinking oh now his last days is coming very soon if anyone takes a poisonous snake on his neck and he he bites them and he kills so serpent was so big uh, very for a way but he is bringing there so he is calling anyhow i am very fortunate that i will go to brajar and bring how akrur went to brajar and how he was overwhelmed with seeing the footprints of krishna krishna and he prayed krishna 
and how how akru brought what was the stage of the gopi lamenting and feeling so much separation tit maharaj should tell something
So he had this mood. In this way, then he had appearance mood also. That time when he had seen, there are so many footprints. Sri Krishna played in Prajapur. When he played, uh, when he played food, at that time, Brajavas and Brajabhumi, there are hills, toes, herbs, and men. So there are so many footprints in Nandagao Charampari, Girra Charampari, and Girra, they are her footprint, and Kamavan, Boitan, so every every see, so when Sri Krishna played fruit, at that time so melt stone, so become a mud, when Krishna was there, there so big size, so footprint came. So Akra, when he had seen this footprint at that time, he played each Sastanga Pranam. So who is big dust, Lachmi Devi always praying, and Brahma seed, any, any, but any kind of reasons, stages, so everyone they are praying this food dust. So I also pray to this food dust. Sri Krishna will be happy and he will be Kijarvi. In this way he prayed his all incarnations. So Supreme Lord Sri Krishna, he is Pura Vatari. So when he will give me darshan and calling me, Amta. So this way, so he had very absorbed more. When he came in Nanda Bhavan, then Nanda Maharaj gave respect to him and he took food and ate prasadam. After then take to rest. In the evening time, when Krishna Balara came from Ghost after then Yasuda Mata every day evening did Arti. So same way, she did Arti and she gave plenty of words and everything. After then, when Krishna Bhagavan took Prasad, then Nanda Baba told them, O oh Krishna, O oh Bhagavan, so now, today, Akrur came from Mathura. He is your chacha uncle. So you can give respect him and talk with him. At that time, so Krishna Balaram came, they did Pranam. That time, so Sri Krishna and Balaram, when they say, Akru, request more and more, O oh Krishna, O oh Balaram, you are not ordinary person, Supreme God. So you appear in Mathura, or your father is Nanda, Vasudev Maharaj, and Devaki, and said both. Both person Balaram also have. So Vasudev and Devaki, they are living in prison so long time past. And Kamsa always making problems, disturbance, always fighting, quarreling, killing others, so many things. But how long time will be this disturbance? If you are not coming there, not said to them, then they will die. They decide. And they will die. You tell me. What happening? Oh, what are you doing? At that time, Krishna Balaram promised, Okay, we are going tomorrow morning. We are going to Mathura. And first we came to Kamsa. After that we said, Devaki and Vasudev. So that time, when they promised and they told, at that time all Brajavasi, they are very sorry, very unhappening. And whole night they are not sleeping. Always talking about Sri Krishna, Yasuda Mata also. Weeping, weeping. Nanda Maharaj told, I gave a pacify to her, Jasudi. You don't know Sri Krishna Balaram now. So young age, and they are going to Mathura in capital city. So with me, they are going with me. Again, we'll come here very soon. So how long time? So they are living there. They have not seen in Mathura. So we are going there. After they come back, return. You don't worry, get pacify to her. And in this way, so each other, everyone talking and weeping whole night. They are not, they not, they do not sleep. After that, in the morning time, Rohini Mata 
भूख प्रसाद जन जसोदा माता के प्रसाद कृष्ण बलराम एवरी वन दे टूक एंड एवरी वन रेडी वेन नंद महाराज ऑल्सो रेडी टू गो मथुरा एट दैट टाइम कृष्ण बलराम गिव प्रणाम टू माता जसोदा एंड रिक्वेस्ट मोर मोर सो वेरी सुन विल कम आफ्टर देन दे सिट इन चेरियर वेन दे सिट इन चेरियर At that time, all Brajulopis came there every year. They surrounding some persons falling on the ground, some persons taking wheels, wheels, some persons taking horse and chariot. So every year they are weeping. At that time, they said, "Oh, Vidha." Tell me, 
you don't be cry rather it would not possible to stop or control my tears so when heart is melting that time tears falling i cannot control how can control the tears okay i am not making any problem on your way what is your desire you can do as you will be happy your happiness is our happiness at that time sri krishna also gave specify so many things but how can control brother of his dear heart mind and sense that time they have they have deep separation so who be in for sri krishna why am sri krishna sit in chariot and they akru also any crooked way so carry chariot and they they have gone and that time brother gopi also followed the chariot they came in uddhav kiyari in forest and that time so brother gopi when they had seen class and chariot that time they are looking only after that they are falling on the ground and fainting then prajagopi they saw govind damo send a crow then in the way uh, but thinking oh i am very fortunate i will go and so supreme lord krishna and balde oh will they call me uncle my dear uncle uncle will they embrace me will i give my head on their feet feeds thinking so and when he went to nandgram and he saw the four prince and dust sank lotus fray dhanu chakra and so many things or at once he jumped up from his chariot and began to roll down on lord's feet dust of krishna and tears coming oh so they go swami is telling if anyone had that mood hmm, like akru then they certainly had the mercy of krishna then he went 
when it was declared that tomorrow in the morning Nandava, myself, I am going, the Shakhas are going, Krishna Palde will go to Mathura to pay tax, and if he will not obey, then he will torture also, and he will try to kill Krishna and Balde. So, better we should go. And in the meantime, what told Pith Maharaj in the night, whole night gopis were lamenting and lamenting. They were thinking that we are not so beautiful. But the wives of Jada, Raj Kumari, they are very, very beautiful. When they will see the smiling face of Krishna, they will be attracted. And Krishna also will be attracted to them. How he can return, he will not return, we know. So, they are uh, the Rajkumari of city, kingdom, Mathura. We are cow horse, we are not so qualified for Krishna. So Krishna may not, he will not return again. So they were lamenting so much. Oh, they, they were speaking to other, each other. Oh, all the Brajabhasi are foolish. Or father, mothers, they are not checking, stopping Krishna. Why they are alone? Mother Jasoda, oh, so foolish. She has no intelligence. She is not stopping Nanda Baba to not to go to Mathura. And then whole life bathing and weeping. After that, when Nanda Baba and all were ready to go and Krishna and Baldev on the chariot, then they told, Oh, Jasodama took Krishna 